Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of See It Work, our show here at Princess Auto where you get to see the great products we have in our stores work here live in our studio for you. Uh, it's going to be another great episode. I'm here today once again with my good friend Mr. Derek Chalmers. Dan, Derek, good to be here. We are, we are here and today we're talking about something near and dear to my heart, um, heavy duty wagons and trailers. Absolutely. And when I say trailers, I mean carts. I don't mean trailers. I mean carts. They're pull carts. There's different variations. We got a lot of ground to cover today, um, and it's going to be exciting. Are you having a good week so far as well? So far, so good. Yeah, store's been good. Busy. Very busy. Yeah. That's good to hear. A lot of these things moving out. Absolutely. This is the time of the year for them. So what what are we looking at here with this first cart? Well, this this is a uh, Gorilla cart, um, steel powder coated, 1,400 pound capacity. Um, okay, I'm going to stop right there sure. quickly. 1,400 pound capacity. Right. Is that for me, I'm just like, I can pull stuff in this. That's can right. Can I pull up to 1,400 pounds? Is that what that means? This will hold up to 1,400 pounds okay. and be able to move safely. So 14 of me's can fit in there. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's accurate. That's an accurate number of my <laughs> Seems way. right. Yeah, of course it is. And the powder coating, that's just protectant? That's right. That's a, a baked on a finish. So it's a lot more durable, weather resistant. So that's a, a nice feature. Okay. Yeah. So what, what else do we have for features on this? Well, car? we've got pneumatic tires. Um, so they're uh, uh, on a pivot front axle. So it's easy to tow. Um, the sides can come off. If you'll give me a hand, we can yeah, let's, let's pop this off. fold this down here. You aren't you are seeing it work right now, folks. Look at yeah. that. Oh. Side comes right off. Too easy. What is, what is this? That is a plastic <laughs> liner. So if you're hauling firewood, you're going front to back, maybe over some concrete or some um, patio blocks and you don't want to get a mess, you can put that down, bark, whatnot, won't drop down on it, so it keeps it cleaner. And I guess you could also, if you really want, if you're hauling some heavier duty stuff and you're like, this plastic is not going to do it for me, you could just slide some plywood in there? You could put plywood. A lot of people build boxes out of plywood or steel and, and do that kind of thing. That's cool. Actually, I, yeah. I went online before the show because I, I knew we were doing this product. And I mm -hmm. checked it out. This product, and I, I hope this is still true right now, it had 10 reviews on princessauto.com. All of them were five stars. Absolutely. You know, we have very, very few, very few issues with these carts. They're really well built. Who would this cart be best suited for? Like, I can think in my head already a few things yep. to use it for. Um, I see a lot of these go to construction companies, uh, people with small acreages, uh, greenhouses. Uh, inside warehouses, there's lots of lots of room to move with these. That's a, I never thought of that. My parents have a small kind of acreage kind of thing mm -hmm. going on. Lots of wood hauling, lots yep. of things going on. And they just have wheelbarrows and that's about it. Yeah, absolutely. A, yeah, and something like this, um, you can tow this with an ATV or a lawn tractor. And it's quite oh. simple. You can take the handle, pull the pin, spin it around, lock the pin back in, put a drop pin in it, and you're towing just like that. You're towing right yep. away. Does it come with, uh, let's get it by the hitch attachment? Nope, there's no hitch attachment. Yeah, there's a, yeah it's a drop pin, fold it down. Uh, most lawn tractors have that, ATVs as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, very easy to tow and very easy to pull. So you say it's easy to tow, easy to pull. And yeah. I did pull it and I, I, have been, I haven't towed it, but I've pulled it. It yeah. is easy to pull. How easy is it to build? Very easy to build. We have a build video, I believe. Do we, we, could do we have a build video? Cut to that. Let's take a look at a build video. If we got yeah. a build video, we can throw that on. We can just kind of walk through it. Yeah. But it does look easy to build. I mean, it is very, oh, you need very simple tools to build this. It takes just a little bit of time. Anybody can build it. Yep, so we took, we put our pivot axle on. The drawbar goes on after that. Mount your four wheels. With some assistance, you can put the handle on, flip it over, yeah, and so install the sides. Instruction manual. Yeah, it's quite simple to build. Done. Yep. 30 seconds. That's right. <laughs> I could do that probably about three hours. Sounds right. <laughs> sounds, that sounds right. <laughs> sounds for, about right. For me, for, perfect. All right, just to let you know, if you're just tuning in right now, uh, welcome to See at Work. I'm Dan. This is Derek. We're looking at heavy duty carts and wagons today. Um, and as always, fire in a comment. If you want to ask a question, we are here to answer your questions live. Um, this next cart obviously looks a little bit different. Uh, tell me about this cart. So this is a little bit bigger uh, capacity. It's a 1500 pound capacity uh, and it's a poly tub. So it's uh, weatherproof, uh, corrosion resistant. You can add stakes, wooden stakes to the side of it to uh, haul a taller or oddly shaped load. Um, and this one does dump. So it's a little different than the first cart that was fixed, but this one does dump. So are these in the poly here? So obviously yep. poly is a great option if Absolutely. you're hauling gravel or dirt. Yep. 
way more attractive than the, the first one, if that's your use. But so these these holes are strictly just for wood. Yep, they're called a stake pocket. You can put a, a piece of wood down in there uh, and raise it up to whatever really suits your needs. Yep. Could you make another level? You could absolutely. Yep. Two tier. You could make a mega cart. Yeah. I don't know why you do that, but you could. If you <laughs> could. Wanted to. All right, so let's let's see it work. Let's let's see it work. Sure. Let's, All right. Let's watch it dump. Now, we I wish we had something to dump. I want to sit in there, but that's unsafe. Look at that. Yep. Drops right down. Cleans right out. And it's full extension. Full extension. Everything will slide out. Yep. How hard is it going to be if I'm hauling, let's say, a quarter yard, a quarter down in there? That's pretty heavy. It is. Now, the nice thing about it is it's got slightly taller tires than the first one, and the taller the tire makes it easier to go over land with. So that's one of the big benefits of having something that is uh, more of a, a turf style tire. Mm. Yep. So there's a bit more clearance. That's right. Okay. Yep. So this one as well, as we as you mentioned, this mm -hmm. one can be towed. That's right. I've seen some images yep. up there. Those are nice. Um, so what are some of the regulations around towing these things? Obviously, they, there's no license plate. On that's right. There's no lights. It's 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 meant for uh, off highway use. Um, and most of the time you're looking at something in the range of less than 10 miles an hour with uh, an ATV, a lawn tractor, that kind of thing. Um, it's uh, meant to be used, you know, in yardage acreage. Uh, you know, it could be hooked onto uh, uh, maybe an electric device in, inside of a plant. I know that we yeah. do have some plants here locally that use them. But you are not going to attach this to your car to bring some wood to the cottage? No, not this one. Not From the trailer to the cabin is ideal, but not, <laughs> not on the vehicle. All right, we got some questions coming in. Sure. Um, Brian. Oh, I'm going to mispronounce where this, the location, so I apologize already. Brian from Stewiak, Nova Scotia. I apologize to the community out there. I don't know how to say that. Um, wants to know if we carry a model like the first cart that dumps and also has the sides that come down. To my knowledge, we do not. Anything that dumps is typically going to have uh, a solid fixed uh, bed on it. Yep. So you need, you, you don't, it doesn't necessarily need to be poly. No. But, but it would be it would be solid sides, full sides. Yeah. So we got no slider out sides. Gotcha for the dumping one. I know I'm speaking. Really yep. shit. Let's let's watch it dump one more time yep. just so you can see the full extension. Let's put something in it. Here we go. Here I'm hauling some firewood for my backyard fire pit. Wow. Just dumps that like, easy. Dumps like a dream. Dumps like, dumps like a dream. Dumps like a dream. <laughs> All right, we got another question. Grant in Winnipeg would like to know: Could an average size quad or ATV Call this at max capacity. Absolutely, absolutely. Something like this, uh, even small lawn tractors, garden tractors would be able to haul this. Um, you'd be, um, you know, the, well suited to haul it with that range of vehicle. It's easily done. Okay. Finally, we have one more question before we uh, we keep rolling the segment. Um, Mr. Weeb in Winnipeg wants to know which one is the most resistant to rust and corrosion. This one right here. This yep, this one winner. would be. Yep. The frame is powder coated as well, which is which is good for the uh, corrosion aspect. Uh, but the uh, you know the the cart itself with the poly, uh, you can't beat that. No. Yep. And again, best end user for this one, uh, kind of as we chat about the last one, probably some of the small acreage. Business. That's right. Yep. Like you said, to go to the cottage, that's another. That's right. We have some smaller versions of poly dump carts, uh, six, eight hundred pound range, something like that. That would be more suited for someone in a residential area or with not a very big piece of property, a little bit of gardening they want to do, that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, that's really nice too. All right, I believe we have a, another video about how this one's put together. So if we can go to that for the assembly, we have one more video. I'm uh, one more video. I've got lots of videos. We have one more cart to show you, and this cart's the mother of all carts. But uh, I think right. we have. Another assembly video, so that's right. walk us through that one. Yep. I'll get this guy Absolutely. So same thing applies. Uh, basic bolt on. You're going to be bolting through the tub, so you might want to raise the tub off the ground a little bit to get the hardware in. Put your uh, drop latch on it, the balance of the front frame. You're going to have a pivot axle that's going to go on, and it doesn't need to be very tight. Uh, it just needs to be snug because you want that uh, bushing to be able to pivot and, and uh, move around nice and easy. Put the wheels on, drop the cotter pins in, flip it over, Install the handle, and that's it. It's 20 minutes tops. It's so easy. Very that's easy. That's not 20 minutes for you, mate. All right, so this is the moment we're all the way for. We have one more cart to share with you today. Um, this uh, is the mother of all carts, I think, that we have at, at Princess Auto. Derek, would you agree? I would absolutely agree. This is uh, quite a machine. It is, Matt. So tell us, this one is clearly not for someone with a small backyard property. Uh, you're going to need some space for this bad boy. That's right. Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is quite a piece of equipment. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you need to do with this. What's the poundage on this guy? Uh, this is a 1600 pound capacity, okay. um, full powder coat on everything. 
Uh, it does have a dump gate at the back. It is completely mesh. The floor is mesh as well. So gravel, sand, soil, not really suited to this unless someone again wanted to build a box to put in there. Yeah. Um, the uh, sides and the front and the back gate all pop off. So you could do, uh, you know, towing some lumber, some sheet goods with it. Um, the suspension on it is uh, kind of an articulating style. Um, what does that mean, articulating? Well, it's going to be... Are the other ones the same, or is this different? Those are fixed. So, okay. you know, if you're going to go over a bump, you might feel it a little bit more. Uh, you'd want to slow down, obviously. This one would be able to take uneven terrain a little bit easier. Mm. Um, large turf tires on these, and uh, they pivot. Uh, you can grease the axles on these. Uh, they have heavy-duty roller bearings in the wheels. Uh, they're, they're suited to put to work. So when we were, we were watching the, the build video for the last cart, um, you had mentioned you don't want to tighten them too tight. That's right. Um, and now I'm assuming that could be a problem that can span all three of these carts. That's right. You tighten it up too yep. much and then what happens? Yeah, well, I mean, the, ideally the, um, uh, the, the castellated nuts that you have on this unit, you're going to tighten them and then just until you get to the point of being too tight and you'll feel that resistance in the tire when you're spinning the tire, you'll back that off just a little bit till the, uh, one of the uh, uh, spaces in the castle nut, we'll be able to drop the cotter pin down and to tighten it. You want a little bit of play. You want to have it too tight. Uh, that tightness creates heat and causes wear, and then you're just going to have parts breaking. Yeah, I on think, it. I mean, yeah. for, for me anyways, when I'm building something, I'm just like, I got to crank this thing as tight yeah. as possible so it doesn't come on. Not always the case. Not, if it's, if it's yeah. something that's fixed and not moving, that's ideal. Uh, but something that's going to pivot or roll or spin, you want that to have some free movement. So number one question you get on this cart mm -hmm. when it's in the store, I'm going to guess, uh, so does everything come with this cart? Everything does right. not come with the cart. Can we get everything? No, we've, we kind of dress them up to give people the, uh, you know, the, the, what can it do? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but it does come with uh, both of the chainsaw holders that are mounted to the front. It has a tray on the front uh, drawbar that can be used for jerry cans. We've got a sprayer on here. You could put a 12 volt battery on it. Uh, if you needed to take a, you know, a small generator, you could put that on the front as well. Um, I really like these, uh, oh, God. You're right. I really like these side clips. Yeah. I like these just... Those are really nice. Yeah. Rakes, shovels. On this side, we've got a, uh, a, a lawn trimmer. Um, you know, you can kind of uh, deck it out to do whatever you like. You can strap all the way across it. The mesh is nice for hooking on um, eyelets or, you know, you built your own kind of a rack for something really specific, specialized. Absolutely. So one thing we have to chat about uh, too before we, we get too further on is, is all these carts that you've seen today uh, are all Gorilla carts. That's right. The brand name Gorilla Cart. Yep. Um, what can you tell us about that brand? Uh, it's, it's been a very good brand uh, to Princess Auto. It's uh, very well built. We have very few issues with them. I mean, the value you get for the cart is uh, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they all look like they are they're solely built. Like I said, like 10 five-star reviews. Those are spanning a couple of years. Like that's, that's right. Yep. That's a testament to the strength of that product. Mm -hmm. So a couple more questions coming in. By the way, if you're just tuning in, I'm Dan. This is Derek. You're watching See at Work. Um, Barry and Calgary wants to know some more about the dump cart. Can you add a leverage system to lift heavy loads or do you just need to be strong? Um, if you're going to load something heavier, you could load slightly to the back of the unit. That would help in the dump. Um, if you're doing it, uh, you know, you're towing something really heavy, it's always ideal to have your towing, uh, the heavy weight right over the axle or in the midsection of it. Uh, but to dump, if you kind of shuffle the weight to the back, it should help in, in dumping. It's, it's quite easy. The pivot's at the back, and that's how it's built. It's, it's kind of intuitive to, to dump easy. Do we easy. have a larger poly um, wagon? We do not have a larger so poly that'll wagon. No. Back, that'll be your max up that's right. that size. Okay. That's right. And he'd also would like to know if you can add sides to the tub for bush and leaves. Absolutely. Yeah. The poly one, easy with the stake side, uh, but you know, even with the open side one, you could do that as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we've got another question. This is, hot. this is a hot topic these yeah. days. I think everyone's going to go and buy one right away. Um, the tires. Can you buy, Kevin in Winnipeg would like to know, can he get replacement tires? Yeah, we can order replacement tires through the manufacturer. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we don't stock them, but we can order the parts in. Okay. Yep. So we don't stock them, we can order them in for you. We do know where to get them from. Yeah, look at those beautiful tires. They're fantastic. Yep. They roll really nice. They give you a little bit of give. Uh, if you find that you've got really heavy rock or, uh, you know, really um, kind of an agitating surface, you could take a pound or two out of the tires to give yourself a little bit more suspension, if, if that makes sense. Do we, I don't know if we talk about what is the max capacity on this unit? This is 1,600 pounds. So 1600 it's, pounds. yeah, it's just a little bit under a ton, uh, three quarters of a ton. And once again, you can pull this 
behind any vehicle. You can. This one, actually, I towed it over here from our store uh, with my van just to make it a little bit easier. And very short drive. Very, very short, short drive. drive. Very short drive. Very, very drive. slow, Went but three it, kilometers an hour. it handled the, uh, well, we're in the parking lot, so we have to do that, right? Yeah. It handled the speed bumps quite well. Um, I did put a, uh, a receiver, a ball mount receiver for it. Uh, it comes with an attachment to mount one of these. Now, depending if you have a one and seven eighths ball or a two inch ball, um, you can get that uh, at Princess Auto. It's uh, quite easy to install two bolts and a quick draw pin. And then you can flip it around and it can be back onto an ATV or a, a lawn tractor. Quite this, one this one you don't really want to pull yourself do you um i mean you could it depends on what you've got in it when it's when it's not dressed it's it's quite <laughs> light but i mean yeah you know you you you'd probably want something to tow it with yeah, you're right you yeah no you're right you definitely want to tow this thing yeah i could just see the struggle right now yeah so okay we got the three carts we've over we've looked at today mm -hmm. we have an idea about the the end user for each um if you had to throw out your pick of the the, the three carts for what's Derek's pick, I would say if you're going to buy a cart, you're in the market for one that's just kind of there yep. that you feel like you could use, but doesn't go too far. I know that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> yeah, what are you asking? <laughs> what am I asking? Yeah. Which is the best cart in your mind? Um, well, I mean, they all have different purposes. They all have different price points, obviously. But if you're looking to do a lot of work and if you have the property that needs, you know, a large wagon to tow behind, this is the one for you. Yeah. I mean, this is, uh, you can't go wrong with it. Yeah. I'd say for me, Dan's pick, even though you didn't ask, thank you very much, Sorry. but I will. Um, I like the poly one the best. Okay. I think that one, but like you said, if you're in a residential area, that's right. don't buy that. It's, 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 it's a bit big. It's a bit big. Yep. I mean, in the garage, in the shed, I mean, it's, uh, you know, seasonal storage can be a problem, but uh, you know, it, we have smaller versions if someone's looking for them. Yep. Um, we had a request, uh, Jenna from Winnipeg would like to see the sides come off this one. Okay. Uh, the easiest that? one would probably be the front side, so we can work on that. It is see it work. We do have to. I can't squeeze by. Here, I'll pull it forward a bit. Yeah, there we there go. There you go. You know, I really do want to do some weed eating later. So to get really your fun. tools off the side, you just pull that rubber strap okay. up over the lip. Oh, it's so easy. It's quite easy. <laughs> there you go. Put that off to the side. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that drop. Pull the drop pin out. All right, we should. It's a little tight because oh, the weight a in it. Tight. Yep. Which way does it? Where does it, it would straight it up? would lift straight up. Yep. I feel like uh, this back does this back gate have to move a bit? Mm, yeah, it would actually. You're gonna have to pull the back gate off. Yeah, we'll have to pull the other pin. Oh, see it work. You got, everyone's getting their value today. This is good. There we go. Back gate's got to come yeah. off. And we just have to pull like the stake. Thank Jenna for asking that question. Did you make her angry at some point? This thing was all decked out. Yeah, that's all right. We build it all again. Yeah, we can pull that straight up. Oh, we got to undo these ones probably, right? Is there? Nope, slide that slides out. out. Yep. There you go. There we go. So that's <laughs> off. So that's the dump. That's the dump gate that dumps uh, on those pivots. And now this, and this one. one should lift. Oh, I'll have to pull the front off too. <laughs> so the side can come off, but we're not going to pull it this off. This is today. compelling. This is compelling viewing right now. You got it? Weird. I'm glad we want the sides off because we, we got that. Okay. Now the chain, how, I will take the front off. Chainsaws are locked in there, safe and sound. Yep. Here we are. There we go. It's done. Just gonna take a little break here. Uh, if any questions? Nothing yet. And now. Yep. Lift your side. There the you go. Side. Your side has to go down just a little bit. Over there. Put it all the way back in. <laughs> Tight. Somebody over tightened this. Well, I put it together yesterday. It dropped right oh, in. Oh, you put it together. <laughs> there we oh. go. Do you want me to come on that side? No, I think we're good. There we go. It's out. It's out. See it work. Look at that. There's the side of that wagon. And these are other things in there. A lot That's of right. great stuff. There's a lot so of good stuff in there. You can take the sides off. There you go. Yep. Pretty easy. Uh, we have one. 
One more question before we, we call it a day here. Once again, you've been watching See at Work. I'm Dan. This is Derek. We're from Princess Auto. Come in and buy one of these heavy-duty wagons or carts. Um, Brian wants to know, does this cart dump as well, or is the, only, or is the poly cart the only one that's dumpable? It can, this one dumps, It right? can dump. Um, again, you're not typically going to be hauling you know, soil and sand that you'd be dumping, but if you had firewood, let's say, you could dump that. Um, you just have to unhook it from the vehicle, yeah. and it's going to pivot back and dump. So, and then get your load out. It'll be easier to drop back down, rehook it up, and away you go. Perfect. Yep. Well, thank you again for, for, for this, this, this episode of See It Work. I'm Dan, this is Derek. Um, thank you all for watching. Please make sure in the comments, if you have a product that we carry that you want to see it work, uh, let us know and we'll do our best to get that feature on the show. But with that, I think we're going to say goodbye for now. Thanks again for tuning in.